Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. This is God's Son Channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Lord said they are sacrificing animals. And the kind of sacrifice that I'm seeing in the spiritual realm, it is not only like capturing an animal and killing the animal. It is punishing an animal as well. This is a sacrifice that is going on. And people are looking at it as if it is animal maltreatment. What is it called? Maltreatment of animals. You know, they, are, they will be protesting. They will try to rescue it and all of that. No, this is what the Lord is saying. This is a warfare message. And I pray the Lord will give you understanding, you know. This is what I am hearing and this is what I'm seeing. They will... They, when they have these animals, they make an incantation into these animals. Why they are punishing the animals? Because they have mentioned the name of somebody into an animal. Can you hear me very well? This is deeper. You know, I am not an entertainer. This is deeper than you can ever imagine. They make an incantation with the name of believers. With the name of somebody in that animal, as they 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 gave the animal out for maltreatment. So when the animal is being maltreated, the the amount of pain inflicted on the animal start manifesting in the life of the person that they call his or her name into that animal. You know, <laughs> I don't know. God will help us. And to, to us, because we are just emotional, we are just emotional, we see the animals, well, ah, somebody is maltreating this animal. Let's do, ah, who is maltreating? We start, ah, ah, this animal, oh, they are maltreating the animal. But there is something behind that maltreatment. This is what the Lord is saying. So we have to pray against sacrificial satanic seed. They are doing sacrificial sacrifice with animal to torment people. To torment people. To torment people. But because of our emotions, we can't even realize that, oh, this maltreatment of this animal is not ordinary. It's not ordinary. You are like, how can somebody be carrying a, a, let me take for example, a horse, a beautiful horse, and suddenly the horse, they are maltreating the horse, there is sore all over the body of the horse, there is sore, they don't even care, they tie things on, his, on, on, the, on the horse body, they drag the horse along the street to carry load, to do all sorts of things, they beat the horse, there is no food. You ask yourself sometimes, you're like, does these people have a heart? The reason why they are doing what they do is not because of that physical animal. It is because there is somebody that they want, that they want to be suffering the way that animal is suffering. Your eyes be open and you will be able to see some things. So you will begin to understand that life is not ordinary. That you begin to understand that things do not just happen. You begin to understand that people are not who you see them to be. You begin to understand the hearts of men are extremely wicked. The Bible says, and desperate, who can lose it? Who can lose it? Hallelujah. When you drive by a street, you see an animal being killed. Maybe you look at it and say, ah, this animal just got killed. Mm -mm. Some of these things are sacrifice. They are sacrifice. They are sacrificed. You must pray against satanic torments. In other words, if there is an object they use to represent you, when the enemy is tormenting the body of somebody, it does not come and just, you does not see the enemy appear before you and be tormenting your body. 
and be choking you with knife. No. No. Do you know what they do? They have an object. Most of them, they use doll. You know what is a baby doll? This rubber doll. They use it. They choke the doll and the person feel pain. They choke the head and the person have headache. They are not coming to appear to you like this. Wow, I've come to oppress you. Bring your head. I want to choke it. Bring your hand. I want to choke it. The reason why they use all those trickish things so that the person that they are tormenting will not even know that this problem is spiritual. Because if they appear to the person and the person see them, ah, you are the one affecting me, hitting my head, the person will know what to pray about. So for the person, the devil is very trickish, very wise. So when they are not using an animal, when they are not using a toy, when they are not using a doll, when they are not using somebody's clothes, shoes, all of that, when they are not using that, the person will not know what is going on if the person is not in Christ fully. Somebody can be in the church, but not the church is not inside of the person. Hallelujah. They are using animals. This is what I'm hearing. To torment the life of people. You must pray. Though I'm going to pray for you in this session. It is not a matter of. Uh, oh God forbid. God forbid. Yes God forbid. That is what the Bible says. Men ought to pray. Not, no, men does not ought to say. God forbid every uh, uh, and just walk away. Say men ought to pray and not to faint. If there is a man to stand in the gap to pray, that sacrifice that they are doing through animal, it will come to naught. I am telling you. The Bible says right from the time of John the Baptist until now, that the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. The violence, the violence take it by force. As I'm speaking, I hear, I see blood everywhere. I see blood everywhere. Because of this sacrifice. Somebody is alive. Yeah, his or her body, it seems as if it's not their body anymore. Not that you are not taking, you have not treated yourself. Yes, medication that we take. God is not against somebody taking medication. Because he's the one that gives wisdom. To doctors, to scientists, uh, whatever, the people that do medicine, I don't know the people that do it. I think, I don't know if it is doctors, those ones that make the medicine. If God had give them the wisdom, that is why I said even the herb would be a medicine to us. You understand? The roots will become a medicine for us. When you go to Genesis, you will see all of that. So God is not against somebody taking medication. But in a situation where you have taken every medication that you need to take, but yet it seems as if your body does not belong to you. Pray. Pray. Pray against the sacrifice that is being done. Even while you are taking the medication, pray. That while you are taking it, that the power of the Lord will move through that medication and you will be healed. Yes. Yes. Healing happens differently. Yes, there are some healing that when somebody just lay hands, you are healed. There are some healing when somebody speak a word, you are healed. There are some healing when you yourself read the word of God, you are healed. There is a heal there are some healing when you even sow a seed that connect to somebody else to steal money, you are healed. God is a God that honor his word. When he said, This is how I will heal you, this is why I will heal you. And some healing can also come through medication. And that medication, you lift it up unto the Lord and said, This is my medication, Lord. As I take it, I don't have the faith that I will be healed with that medication, but through this medication, as I take it, make my body whole. And God will move. Because the daughter only treats it is God that healed. When all is done and there is no solution, pray against satanic sacrifice. Against satanic sacrifice where they are trying to sacrifice. To sacrifice your life. Where they are using an animal to represent you anywhere. Where they are using doll, different kinds of needle. Evil is in this earth. See, I must tell you, I feel for believers who will just open their mouth. They are looking for errors. They are looking for problems from one pastor to another, one believer to another. But they refuse to see the real battle before us. We are in a battlefield, child of God. Evil is on this earth. 
Because you are on this earth, you must confront that evil. You must confront it and win. There is a battle to fight. There is a song I was listening to a few days ago that somebody sent to me. Say, there is a battle to fight and there are victory to be won. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister evangelize Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.